Hi friends, today I am going to explain you Uttar Ayan and Dakshin Ayan. So, I have, first I have divided the earth revolution into four stages. This is first stage. This is second stage. This is third stage. And this is fourth stage. Now, in the first stage, the sun's rays directly fall on southern hemisphere. But they cannot reach on north pole. So, therefore, southern hemisphere experiences summer and north pole means northern hemisphere experiences winter. In second stage, the sun means the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere, they both get the equal light. And the sun's rays fall on equator, mostly on equator. So the equator is too hot. And uh, the day is called equinox. It occurs on 21st March. After three months, uh, the sun's rays fall in northern hemisphere. They cannot reach the south pole. So therefore, northern hemisphere experiences summer and south pole means southern hemisphere experiences winter. It occurs on 21st June. The day is called solstice. After three months, in fourth stage, the both the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere they uh, receive the uh, same amount of light. Uh, the maximum light of sun uh, gets on equator. It occurs on twenty third September. The day is called equinox. So. Now, I am going to explain this by using the Earth's model. Stage 1, 22nd December, Solstice. So, you can see that the sun's rays cannot reach the northern hemisphere. So, it experiences winter. But the sun's rays can reach the southern hemisphere. So, it experiences summer. Stage 2, 21st March equinox. So, we can see that both the hemispheres are getting the same amount of light from sun. The maximum light of sun falls on the equator. Stage 3, 21st June solstice. So, you can see that the sun's rays uh, reach the northern hemisphere, so it experiences summer. But the sun's rays cannot reach the southern hemisphere, therefore it experiences winter. Stage 4, 23rd September equinox. So we can see that both the hemispheres are getting the same amount of light from sun. The maximum light from sun falls on equator. So, let us know what is Uttarayan and Dakshinayan. From 23rd September to 21st March, this part is called Dakshinayan because the southern part receives more light from sun. And from 21st March, to 23rd September, this part is called Uttarayan because uh, the sun's rays fall on northern part of the earth. Now, in the Dakshinayan phase, most of the sun rays fall on this line called as Tropic of Capricorn. Whereas, in Uttarayan phase, most of the sun rays fall on this line called as Tropic of Cancer. So, I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.